a lot of people die simply because medicines did not reach them in time. So is medical logistics a real issue? Yes, of course. The question is how do we solve this? 2019, uh, we've started our medical delivery vertical and everything and majorly we were fully uh, wanted to bridge the, the medical gap uh, which we have in from a tertiary centre to a primary healthcare centres. In India, you have almost uh, 35,000 primary health centres and uh, there are more than 250,000 sub-centres. And these are primarily there in rural remote areas and these are the first point of contact as far as the medical health system actually goes. A lot of people die simply because medicines did not reach them in time. Now if you can actually send a drone to any of these PHCs, you could possibly cover these 50 kilometers or 100 kilometers from a district headquarters in half an hour or less than an hour. And you could actually send temperature controlled products like vaccines, medicines. You can also bring back blood and these could actually be a reliable supply chain. For instance, uh, vaccines have to be maintained at 2 to 8 degrees. And it is not like your regular food where even like let's say if the temperature goes beyond 8 degrees for like a half an hour and then you refreeze it, nothing really happens. That's not the case in medicine. So the temperature should always be maintained between 2 to 8 degrees and that's why it's called as a cold chain. For medical delivery, as I mentioned, temperature control is a key component. The weight of the temperature control itself takes up significant amount of weight, which means we cannot have drones that can carry only like let's say 2 kgs or 5 kgs to provide any kind Kind of a meaningful delivery. Uh, the current uh, testing of drones by government limitation, I think we can only fly a drone which has a maximum weight plus payload up to 25 kgs, but we are actually going to write to the government uh, for permission to fly higher payload drones. So uh, majorly the medical delivery is very new to India and all this, uh, the pilot project of the, which we're going to do in Vikarabad uh, is a first time beyond visual sight of blind trials happening in India. This will demonstrate uh, to the state government, MOCA and DGCA uh, to come up with a lot of SOPs for the BVLOS and also for them uh, gives us a great learning to scale year-long operations and also becomes an example for other states to take up the medical delivery. We are very happy that we have been shortlisted as part of the consortium to fly medicines. Uh, it's actually named as Medicines from the Sky.